Hey guys, it's Naples and welcome back to our farm in the Western Wilds. Uh, I'm just on my way here emptying my water tanker because the cows have finally started producing milk. So it's time for them to start earning their keep. I'm gonna fill this trailer up completely with milk and it so happens to be that in September it's almost the best price for milk. Uh, let's see where the loading spot is. Get over here. No, I think that's something to unload or... No, I don't know. Let's just see. You do have to open up those caps on top. Uh, those lids. Okay, so it's definitely not here. Maybe over here. That was a bit of a bad turning. Uh, but yeah, the price can go up to 22.41. And at the moment it's at 22.50. So I have to say that's not bad. Uh, it's kind of a sensitive trigger, or is this not the right place as well? Or is it that you don't get a indication that you can start loading? Okay, well, nothing is happening, that's for damn sure. And I'm gonna go back to the other one. I'm just gonna keep spamming R until something happens. There we go. It was here all along. Uh, but yeah, we have... In February... Yeah, as you can see, we are in September. Then it drops down. Goes back up. In February, it's even better. But yeah, it's only by a little bit. Only a small margin. And the price has increased even a little bit. So it's 22.53 at the Farmer's Market Milk. So we are finally going somewhere different than the train yard to sell our goods. Now where the hell is the farmer's market milk? By the looks of it, it's right here at the store. I'm just gonna drive to the beacon of light and I will see you over there. Alright, here we are coming up to the milk station. Yeah, it's just right by the sawmill. Where we spent a lot of time in the first few episode, episodes. And over there is a store. So yeah, it's all in the same area. Alright, we're almost empty. There we go. 54,000 plus another 3.5, so not bad at all. That makes it worth it. Alright, so they had some more in storage. So I'm gonna sell that as well. All right, the last remaining bit of milk is being sold. And there we go. And that is almost 30,000 euros again. So not bad at all. Lovely. I'm just gonna service my tractor because it's damaged a little bit. Well, not really damaged, but you know what I mean. It needs some repairing done. How's the tanker? That's fine. Prepare the weight as well while we're here. All right, perfect. Now let's. I'm gonna fill this uh, tanker up again with water because it's gonna been, be a while, I think, before the cows produce an enormous amount of milk. I'm gonna fill this up, and then I'm gonna prepare for the next big job. All right, well as you can see, I was just on my way uh, to the big field for our next crop. Just wanted to show you that I've got cotton over here in this bay for now. The combine will have to stay outside for the time being. It's only for a few days, few months. I believe the best price for cotton will be in February. I just checked. As you can see the cotton, even though the farmer's market wool has a high demand. 
The train yard is still offering a better price at this point, but we are currently in September and the price is not that good. We get a big increase in price in October, then it goes down a little bit and then in February it's at its best. So we're just going to wait until February and that's fine. Doesn't matter. The combine can stay outside for now. And I'm going to go ahead with the next big money making uh, plan that I have. And that is planting corn in this huge field. But we're not going to harvest the corn. No, we're going to chop it up and create silage. Yes, silage. Since I made the exception for the cotton to rent a cotton harvester, I think I'm going to do the same for this stuff and I'm going to rent a forage harvester. I think it's worth it. Again, something different. Want to change it up just a little bit. Uh, let's see, that's unfolded. Gotta turn it on. Unfold the other thing. There we go, turn that on as well. Uh, let's see, select the correct implement. So yeah, we don't have to cultivate or plow the field up. Uh, prior to planting because this is apparently a direct planter so we can just go right ahead and there we go the cotton no not the cotton the corn is going into the ground let's just have a quick look everything is working as it should corn over here yep that's definitely working Let's see what it says on the bottom right. Crop type corn growing needs rolling. Perfect. pH is good. Nitrogen is perfect. Lovely. I may do some lime spreading afterwards. I know that's not how you're supposed to do it. But like I said earlier, that doesn't matter in this game. Because I want to get the max amount of uh, yield that we can get off the corn because I want to make as much money as possible so that we can buy our new tractor and maybe even a combine harvester I think for both I need at least a million euros but I think we're gonna get there especially after we sell the cotton and the silage of this cornfield By the way, the planter is lovely. Very good to have such a big planter. I'm glad I bought it. Yeah, I thought I was gonna miss that little piece. I'm just gonna reposition a tiny bit. And there we go, that's better. Doesn't matter if this is in a straight line because after I've done this little piece, I'm going to go up and down in that direction. Just want to take this headland off first, so that gives me some space to turn around, because we are right on the edge of the map. Alright, lovely. Also the nitrogen, as you can see in the bottom left, is turning to a lovely dark green color. That's what we want to see. Alright, well, I think you know what's gonna happen. I will put on some music for you to enjoy, and I'm gonna get the planting done, and I will see you in just a few seconds.
right, here we go. Final piece. And we are ready with the field. For a second there, I thought it was the most awkward with. Well, it kind of is because, yeah, as you can see, we have left a small strip here and there. So just to be sure, I'm going to go uh, back this way. Because I think I have missed a line here and there. It was just a little bit too wide. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can see over there in the distance. And I believe also over here. You can see there's a bit of a, a different texture in that line. And another one coming up right here. Yeah, I want to point at my screen, but that's something you don't see. The small bit that I missed, and we are done. There we go. We are finished. I think there was one small strip that I missed here as well. Yeah, here it is. Let's do that as well, and then we're just definitely 100% sure that everything will work out perfectly. There we go. We can turn everything off. And take everything back to the farm. Can I fold everything up together? Oh yeah, I can. Perfect. Why am I going so slow? Okay, we're picking up speed again. For some reason the tractor slowed down quite a bit. And there we go. Lovely field of corn. Perfect. Alright, well, I'm gonna get everything back into the shed and then we're gonna move on to the next job. I think the animals are still doing okay. Oh, the chickens most definitely aren't. They still got a little bit of food left, but I'm gonna fill it up. And the Cows are doing okay. I think I gotta make some more total mix ration. Give them also some more water. Let's see how far the canola field is. It's getting there. That's good. All right. I will see you in a second. Alright, well, as you can see, the grass field is looking a bit weird. Uh, that's because I tried to use my sprayer to increase the nitrogen. But yeah, as you can see, it's not really working. I'm una unable to spray and I'm unable to increase the nitrogen. No idea why that is. But yeah, fine. Then don't take my nitrogen grass field. Then I'm just gonna roll the... Uh, cornfields. I was gonna say cotton again, but no, it's corn this time. And that means bring out the big roller. It really is huge. And that is perfect. 
Oh, I was about to say, why don't I see anything? Well, that's because I've done lime spreading first. And then it's very difficult to see where you have and haven't been. Yeah, as you can see, it's very difficult. Uh, there's a fine line. I'm not even sure if you can see it in the video, but I can see this is a bit darker than this side. But yeah, it's difficult to see. Yeah, I'm just gonna get this done real quick. Whoops, gotta lower this thing first and then start moving. There we go. Otherwise, it doesn't work. But yeah, I will get this done real quick off camera and then I'm gonna go to bed. And yeah, I think the next job will be to harvest the canola field. I think it's already halfway there, so that should be good. Also, I have given the cows another two or three loads of total mix ration because they are running out. And I have completely run out of uh, silage. So that's one of the reasons I also spread lime on the grass field. I want to get as much grass as possible. Because we're going to get more silage. And I know I'm going to get lots and lots of silage from this field. But I need it soon. ASAP. And to be honest, this silage from this field, from the corn, I want to sell it all. I want to make as much money as I can. Because I have some plans within plans. Alright, well, I'll get this done. And I will see you in just a few seconds. Okay, well, um, I was just doing some jobs around the farm. And as you can see in the top right, there's a great demand at the animal dealer, but also a great demand at the train yard. And, well, every time I notice if there's a great demand, I will check uh, what that exactly is. And what do you know? It's cotton at the train yard. Seven and a half thousand euros. Look at that. Two and a half thousand above the well normal maximum price so i'm gonna sell oh yeah i already prepared a little bit as you can see <clears throat> i have two bills loaded onto this trailer um, i don't think you should do it like this it's not really safe they are quite heavy i think if you would do it like this the axles would break but yeah luckily in fs it's doable uh, so since we can only load these with the bill spike i'm gonna leave this tractor here i'm gonna grab the other one and i will meet you at the train yard and see what we will get out of one bill okay here we are and uh, let's see i'm first gonna disconnect the weight i'm gonna leave the trailer over here Oh man, the turning circle on this tractor. I totally forgot about that. Alright, so I'm first going to do the front bill because I believe that one is the full one. Yeah, 20,000 liters. Alright. See if we can get it out because I am unable to remove the straps on the other one. Yeah, that's not really working. And uh, let me just take the other one off real quick. Alright. Attempt number two. And there we go. I hope I can lift it onto the train. Whoops. Uh, without tipping over. Also, I hope it will fit into the trigger. Because, yeah, as you can see, it's quite a big bill. Alright, here we go. Let's lift it up. Gently. Maybe I should have brought the other weight. 
that is on the other tractor because that's a bit more heavy. I guess like this because otherwise I am unable to remove it. Oh, it's selling bit by bit. Oh, that sucks. Uh, okay, well, that is a bit annoying. I don't even remember how much money we had in the bank in the first place. Uh, but I guess I have to pick them up lengthwise. For now, I'm just going to use this. And sell it like this. Uh, well, I think that was quite a lot of money. Yeah, I want to get one big lump sum of money when I sell one bill. So I'm going to try that again with the other bill back at the farm. Let's first try if I can even lift them like this. Well, I think I can. Let's see what happens if I lift them a bit higher. I'm also going to uh, grab the other weight. Well, that was only 4,000 liters or something, and we have made more than 40,000 euros out of that bill. So that's pretty good. Alright, I'm going to grab the other two, and I'm going to try to sell one to get a big lump sum. So I will see you back over here with the next two bills. Alright, here we go. Next two bills, or, well, the last two bills... I'll lift it up like this. If I can, because now my bill spike isn't working. Oh, there we go. That was odd. Let's try to keep the other one on the trailer for now. Don't want to push it off by accident. Okay, lower. Yeah, with this other weight, the tractor is a bit more stable. Alright, so here we go. One big lump sum of money for the cotton. Barely fits on it. Alright, here we go. Lower it. Oh man, look at the money shoot up. 150,000 euros for one bill. Plus almost another 10 for the environmental score reward. Holy hell. I was expecting good money of the cotton, but nothing like that. Jesus. Alright, perfect. Yeah, you gotta... Stick the bill spike in... Uh, as you can see at the bottom. Otherwise it will just push the bill away. Oh man, even though I really, really like this tractor, but the turning circle is ridiculous. I mean, yeah, it's probably normal, but holy hell. If you are used to the other one that we have, the other John Deere, that's way better. Whoops. Uh, what did I just do? There we go. Be a bit more gentle. Well, this is going to be another 150,000 euros. And there we go. We're now at 1.3 million euros. That is nuts. Well, I think it's safe to say this uh, survival challenge uh, succeeded. Alright, well, I'm gonna get set up again. And I'm gonna go back to the farm. I'm gonna rest. And yeah, I will bring you guys back when we are ready to... I think harvest the canola field. That's the next big job to do. Okay, I know I said 
our next job would probably be the harvest of the canola field, but yeah, it's November. That means the price for eggs is at its best. And we had quite a few pallets, so yeah, we're gonna sell those eggs. I'm just gonna sell one pallet real quickly with you guys on camera and then I will show you our next total bank account after I sold the entire trailer load. There we go. Let's see how much are we gonna get out of one pallet. The price is pretty good at the moment. And there we go. That's over 9,000 euros. Almost nine and a half. Well, I think we're gonna get some nice income out of this. Okay, here we go. The final two pallets. Lovely. Yeah, I'm getting more capable in handling pallets with the forklift. And there we go, another 18-ish thousand euros, almost 19. We are now at 1.4 million. I think we made around 60, 70 thousand euros out of those pallets. So that's pretty good. Alright, well, uh, looking at the canola field when I drove past it. It's in flower currently and I think it's on its final growth stage. So I think I'm going to rest again until December. Just going to have a quick look at the animals. Uh, they still have plenty of grass. They could do some with some water. They are okay. And so are the chickens. Okay. Well, I will see you in a second. Back at the farm, as you can see, the uh, corn. I wanted to say cotton again. I'm sorry. Uh, the corn is doing awesome. They are already past uh, germination stages. I think they are in the second growth stage. Second or third. Uh, so, doing good. Everything is looking uh, very good. pH is perfect. Nitrogen is perfect. That's what we want to see. And as you can see over here, the canola field is ready to harvest. And I know I said I'm going to do that or I wanted to do that this episode, but I have just been editing the video a little bit and well, I think I've been going on for long enough. Yes, I edit my video in between because recording a farming simulator video takes me about two or three recording sessions, meaning about two days. So yeah, in between I do my editing so I know exactly how long the video is. Otherwise you get a one hour or two hour long video and that's a bit much. So I'm going to prepare everything for the harvest and we're going to start first thing in the next episode. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want, you can subscribe for more of course. As always, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.